update on my latest project to build an enclosure for my Smarter Tools generator inverters. Uh, I'll show some step-by-step -step, uh, in the process. There's the uh, hardware associated with the wood structure that I've built. It'll be painted, sealed for weather protection as well as um, may pr produce some sound uh, level uh, reduction, although they're pretty quiet generators. Uh, with the uh, enclosure, I'll have access panels to uh, function uh, the generators. Moving forward on this project, I uh, cut these plywood panels out of uh, 0.20 underlayment material. Uh, I believe this is waterproof uh, uh, type plywood, uh, it'll, although it'll get a good uh, sealing and, and painting uh, the finished product. It's a light, uh, fairly stable uh, material to work with, and there will be access panels cut on that door, as mentioned earlier, for uh, access uh, to the uh, receptacles and other functions of the APU, as well as uh, uh, vent. Now those inverters are counter-opposed so that uh, the pull starter and fuel uh, turn-on is on each side. There will be a lid which opens up uh, to provide access to the uh, fuel tanks which are pretty nice because there's fuel uh, level gauges there to let you know where you stand on that. Of course, there's a, uh, a superstructure there that uh, those panels will be uh, applied to. Probably screw them, glue them to it. It's a fairly uh, small uh, little enclosure that goes on that trailer tray, which will be placed uh, on the tongue of the travel trailer above the uh, propane tank. And of course, all of the uh, hardware associated with the doors, hinges there, uh, little lock, door locks, and grating grills that will go over the uh, exhaust vents on each side. Again, there will be a panel uh, such as this on the other side. So that's the, my approach to providing weather enclosure. Of course, the APUs will have a, uh, a cable with inside this enclosure down below and around that will secure uh, the units, deterring uh, them walking away. Uh, but it'll provide a weatherproof, a little sound reduction I'm expecting. Uh, should be no problems with the heating issue, overheating, uh, as well as uh, they'll just not be as noticeable uh, to the passerby. I'll uh, be assembling the Smarter Tools generator inverters uh, enclosure from this uh, frame and the side panels, and there's a lid there. So I'm going to put this thing together and uh, begin uh, sanding in preparation for paint. There's the uh, side door um, for the uh, pull, start, fuel, shut off. There's another door for the electrical uh, connection panel. And there's another uh, uh, opening there for the vent. And that's replicated on the other uh, two sides. And then this is a uh, lid that will uh, provide access to the fuel uh, tanks uh, accommodated with the uh, electric pump that, uh, from the jerry can. So anyway, it's all sanded, ready to go for uh, priming and then a final uh, color coat and then assembly of the door panel and grill. And it'll be secured down probably with a nail bracket and bolted down. Uh, each of those door panels will have a lock. And the internal uh, security will be a T 
cable uh, type uh, lock uh, that will secure the, the generators uh, through to the uh, I have finally finished uh, weatherproof painting And the next step will be to uh, paint the graphics, which will match the travel trailer. It will be a new experience trying to uh, paint some graphics on this. But it should break up some of the lines. And uh, did the uh, matching of the base color here with the travel trailer. And it should look pretty good. Uh, it'll be a black and maroon sort of uh, sweeping uh, lines, again, like the uh, wilderness travel trailer. I completed uh, the assembly of the various uh, parts to make up this enclosure. There's a uh, side door on each side uh, for the pull start and fuel uh, turn on and off. And in front on each side is the access to the uh, a power panel and of course the exhaust uh, grill on each side. You know, the generators are reversed in their orientation to one another, mainly to access the uh, full start. There's another video I've, I will post after this which essentially uh, shows the uh, generators uh, running and how the functionality of this box conjunction with the generator uh, works and uh, the graph excuse me pardon, sorry the graphics uh, somewhat match the travel trailer the wilderness uh, travel trailer and uh, hopefully it complements the uh, overall uh, look trailer tray with the APU enclosure that I fabricated and it came together pretty good I'd say I matched the graphics and the paint fairly well for a novice but it certainly uh, is a very well built structure, the platform and that enclosure. So it'd be interesting to uh, lift those generators up there and cover it pretty high. But I usually carry a step ladder 
and besides the little electrical connections that I have to move around those mounting points for the frame, it went together fairly well. The erector set, essentially. Anyway, that's my approach to auxiliary power for the travel trailer. Have a great day. I want you to get up and walk like a duck. Me? Yes. I always walk like a duck. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do the duck walk. Hey, Molly, let's do the duck walk. Do the duck walk.